Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve an internal error has occurred when using the remote desktop connection application on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu and open up the remote desktop connection client. So just go ahead and search for remote desktop connection. Go ahead and open that up. If you had a shortcut on your desktop, you can open up that way as well. You want to select the little Show Options button, so go ahead and expand that. And now you want to select the Experience tab, where it says Reconnect if the connection is dropped. You want to uncheck that, and then you want to select the Connect button. And then again, you would proceed with the connection information. We don't have it filled out in our case, but if you did, just keep that unchecked and then attempt to connect, and then hopefully that would resolve the problem. You can also attempt to disconnect from any VPN connections as well. So if you close out of here, open up the search menu and type in VPN. Best match, you come back with VPN settings. Go ahead and open that up. If there are any VPN connections in here, I recommend just turning them off or removing them temporarily and then seeing if that resolves the problem as well. Something else we can try here as well, if we close out of here, open up the search menu, type in local security. Best match, you come back with local security policy. Go ahead and open that up. So underneath security settings, double click on local policies to expand that folder. Should be a security options folder, so just go ahead and left click on that. And then on the right side, you want to locate something that says system cryptography. So I'm just going to scroll down. And again, there's two items in here. The first one, we're going to use the second one here. It says use FIPS compliant algorithms for encryption, hashing, and signing. Double click on that, and you want to set this to enabled, and then select apply and OK. And once you're done with that, go ahead and close out of here and restart your device. And there you go, guys. Should be as simple as that, and hopefully that has resolved your problem. So, as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.